Hey, man, what it is? This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is by any means. I want everybody there to go hit the cash app. Y'all already know, man, I don't care if you send a dollar, $10, $500. It is much, much appreciated. 40 mil bill, what they call them. Man, y'all ain't asked your Corey Stevenson to go to 140. That's all I know. Y'all did not ask your Corey Stevenson to go to 140. Y'all claim that he was more, more than willing to fight Shakur Stevenson at 135. But then y'all tell me he can't make 135. Well, if that was the case, then why did he so-called send an offer to Shakur Stevenson at 135 if that was true? Both things cannot be true, y'all. Why y'all ain't asked Shakur Stevenson to go to 140? Shakur Stevenson is bigger than Javante Davis. Y'all know that, right? Y'all know Shakur Stevenson like three inches taller than Javante Davis, correct? Or am I tripping? Y'all didn't ask for him to go to 140. Y'all was more than willing to fight them at 135, so y'all say. Or was y'all ever really willing to fight them at 135? See, it has to be one or the other. It can't be both, though. It's either he can't make 135 and he knew he couldn't make 135 and he made a fake offer to Shakur Stevenson. Or he really was serious and can make 135 and was willing to fight Shakur Stevenson at that weight class. But not Javante Davis? The A-side where you would make more money, where you have much more incentive to fight him at 135 than Shakur Stevenson? Huh. So was the offer fake or was it real? Because if, if it was real, because y'all say Shakur Stevenson ducked, so that means that y'all believe that the offer was real. Then that means that y'all also believe that he could make 135 because that's where the fight was supposed to be taking place. But then when it comes to Javante, y'all say he can't make 135. When Devin Haney was fighting at 135 two years ago, y'all wasn't asking um, Javante Davis to go to 140. Y'all only start asking Javante Davis to go to 140 when Devin chose to move up. If Devin would still be at 135 right now, y'all wouldn't be asking Javante Davis to go to 135. And again, I am destroying every narrative that y'all have. So now, again, it's because Devin did it. It's because Devin said so. Devin don't run anything. When is y'all going to get that through y'all thick skulls, all 40,000 of y'all? Y'all do everything but buy the fight. Can you buy the fight, then press send. As much as y'all press send, y'all don't buy the fight. You got the same 12 people arguing on every different platform for Devin Haney. At this point, I'm convinced that they on the payroll because I see the same 15 people going to every boxing platform arguing for Devin Haney. What fan base? Somebody made a video talking about Javante Davis fans losing a fan base. Devin Haney fans can't even speak about a fan base. He don't have a fan base. He don't have a fan base, not when Roly Romero and Ryan Garcia is going to sell three times as much as him and Regis Prograve. How could he have a fan base? I'm going to make a video about that later, too, coming soon. You understand? Y'all dudes out here don't want it with me, and I keep telling y'all I'm going to keep my foot on y'all neck as long as y'all keep being out here lying. Y'all keep getting up on these panels thinking I ain't up there just because I ain't up there. I don't see y'all. It's funny how everybody start acting different when I don't be on panels. Why? You think I can't see what you said? I heard you. I saw you. Oh, I saw you. I'm watching. I just be busy, and I be having a lot of things to do. So, so my life has changed drastically. Well, not even changed drastically, but I'm more on the on, I got a lot more going on, more obligations where it's harder for me to get two, three hours of just being on this platform, that platform. It's much harder for me to do that right now. Oh, but I will. I'm just waiting for Javante Davis to announce this fight because I know we're going to have plenty to talk about. But y'all didn't ask for Shakur Stevenson to go to 140. And this is how I'm about to, I'm about to destroy, show y'all just how much hypocrites y'all are. So he couldn't make 135. Because if Shakur Stevenson's a duck, that means that Devin Haney can make 135. Why wouldn't you want to fight Tank Davis at 135 when you're going to get way more out the deal for doing it? Oh, because at 135, you think you'll get knocked out by Javante Davis. That has to be what it is because what's good for the goose got to be good. What, what makes Shakur Stevenson different than Javante Davis? Why are you willing to fight him at 135 but not fight Tank Davis at 135? That don't make sense to me. Do that make sense to you? It only makes sense to Devin Haney fans. Y'all wasn't asking when Devin Haney was at 135, y'all wasn't asking Javante Davis to go to 140.
again, y'all are trying to make Javante Davis do stuff that Devin has to do, but none of y'all support Devin. Y'all just run y'all big fat mouth on here on YouTube. Y'all don't actually support Devin. If y'all did, it would sell more than 50,000 pay-per-views. Do y'all understand that Devin's last two pay-per-views did not sell more than Javante Davis and Issa Cruz? Y'all understand that, right? Y'all understand his last two pay-per-views didn't sell more than Hector Luis Garcia and, um, and Javante Davis. Y'all understand that, right? I guarantee you that Shakur Stevenson and Edwin De Los Santos would have did at least 40, 50,000 pay-per-views, at least. I could guarantee you that Sandor Martin and Devin Haney probably won't even be on pay-per-view if that undercard not stacked. That undercard will have to look like main events. Because if they didn't buy Regis Prograve, do you mean to tell me you think that they're going to buy Sandor Martin and can't do it? I promise you they won't do it. Y'all don't like listening to Dean, but I'll be right. Y'all haven't proven me wrong on anything yet. I told y'all as soon as he got out of that fight, he's going to mention Javante Davis' name, knowing that he has another fight lined up. Who was right? I told y'all he was going to be engaging with Ryan Garcia trying to make that fight happen. Who was right immediately after? It's Ryan that pulled out, but the thing is, Ryan pulled out because you sell 50,000 big reviews. That's a shame when you're the B side to Ryan Garcia, but you're trying to tell Tank what he got to do. You're not even the A side to Ryan Garcia. I want y'all to think about that. The guy that got knocked out, y'all not even the A side to him. So how much does Undisputed and all of that stuff actually mean? But all I know is ain't none of y'all actually Corey Stevenson to go to 140. Y'all try to have double-sided arguments. Shakur Stevenson ducked. If Shakur Stevenson ducked, then that means that Devin Haney was willing to fight at 135. But when I bring Javante Davis' name up, y'all tell me he can't make the weight no more. Y'all hypocrites. That's the definition of being a hypocrite. Y'all understand? Pick your side of the argument. Just know I was right about either one you choose. Then Shakur, stop saying Shakur Stevenson ducked if the man can't make the weight. You should be holding your man accountable saying that he made a fake offer because that means he would know he couldn't make the weight. I told y'all he was moving up before he moved up. Yeah, I did. Okay. No, Shakur, that, that was a real offer. Then why not be willing to fight Javante Davis at 135? Because y'all say y'all don't want catch weights and rehydration clauses. Javante Davis has never put nobody on a catch weight or a rehydration clause that has fought him at the 130 pound, 135 pound weight. Not one person. So that included Devin Haney. Y'all got to pick your side of the argument. Just know either one gets destroyed. I hear people on my man knockout panel talking about the walls is closing in on Tank. How? When everybody's anticipating that he fights. Do that even make sense? How could the walls be closing in on somebody that everybody's waiting to announce something? That don't even make sense. Y'all just loud and wrong. And I understand that it's not enough of y'all because y'all don't actually do what y'all actually have to do to get these fights for Devin to be the guy to the, like y'all arguing things y'all can't even argue. He's the face of boxing. You can't be the face of boxing doing 50,000 pay per views. You're not even the face of the lightweight division. You're not even the face. You're not even the most popular guy at the 140 division, let alone the 135 division. Lomachenko is more popular than you. How we know? Because you supposedly sold 150,000 with him, but now only 50,000 with Regis Prograve. That sounds like 100,000 difference to me, which I'll well, have to credit that to Lomachenko because Devin Haney is the common denominator. And it was a championship fight. I'm just saying. Y'all didn't ask Shakur Stevenson to go to 140. I wasn't begging Shakur Stevenson to go to 140. Y'all told Shakur Stevenson he needed to take 25% and do what the hell Devin say. We tell and y'all then y'all admit that Javante Davis is 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 a is a A side with Shakur and, and, and Devin put together. But you won't fight him at 135. Shakur is supposed to just do whatever Devin says, but Devin's not supposed to do whatever Tank says. Another narrative that is just pure blasphemy and malarkey. 40 mil bill, what they call them. What you gonna do when you become the Rugaroo? <laughs> <laughs> y'all know what this is i have fun with this y'all that's why y'all rock with me because i love this argue with me get up there and one-on-one -on -one debate me y'all like going to other places you ain't don't there none of y'all be in my comments one to one-on-one -on -one debate because y'all know how this gonna go y'all know how that gonna go y'all know what this is man dean by any means
And I'm going to holler at y'all.